Hi loves, welcome to my empties number nine video. So I haven't filmed an empties video for half a year now. I just checked on YouTube. It's been six months since I filmed an empty. So I've accumulated a few items from makeup, skincare, body care, and first, everything first in between. I have is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Luminous Foundation, and I'm in the shade W2 Light Ivory. And this is what it looks like here. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It comes with this rose gold top, and then you just open it up like so. It comes with a mirror inside, a nice size mirror, and then it also comes with your little applicator there. And then if you open it here, there is the little sponge uh, foundation that holds the foundation and I really enjoyed using this this is a kind of like a light to medium coverage foundation and I like how it felt on my skin it's very lightweight not cakey and heavy at all and it made my skin look really like naturally luminous it had this nice glow to it and it was very hydrating as well so if you have dry skin i would definitely recommend this for you guys um, but if you have super oily skin maybe stay away from it because it does have like that luminous finish so it does give you that nice kind of glow so i really enjoyed this and i can definitely see myself we have my this up holy again. grail concealer this is the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer and i'm in the shade light and I, I just love this. I have a, another one I'm using right now. This one is completely empty. This gives me a kind of, depending how many layers I put on, light to medium uh, concealer. I love using it underneath my eyes. Redness, I have redness around my nose, so I love using it around there. And also on my imperfections, it covers beautifully. And it's super lightweight. It doesn't make my skin look cakey at all and it's not drying underneath the eyes as well so I really love this and it just covers everything beautifully blends really nicely as well and it's just a great overall concealer it's been hyped up all over YouTube and it you guys seen this so many times hype. in my empties this is the physicians formula shimmer strips custom eye enhancing eyeliner trio in nude eyes and I completely finished another one this one I actually buy it in a set of three so it comes in black uh, dark brown and light brown as well and this is the only eyeliner even though there's a little shimmer to it, it doesn't bug my eyes at all that I actually use to tight line my eyes and it does not budge at all it just stays there all day long it does not smudge it does not like you know go all You've over been my following eyes me for it just a while, stays you know I love testing out new mascaras but this is my tried and true mascara mm. this is from Majolica Majorca it's called the Lash Expander Edge Meister and it's in the shade BK999 which is like a dark black and this is what it looks like here it's kind of like a flat comb applicator it has uh, a big kind of um, curve one on top and then a flat one on the bottom to use on your lower lashes which I don't really use the bottom one I just use the top one for my upper and lower lashes but this as you guys can see it has little fibers on it so it is a fiber mascara but this is pretty much hairspray for your lashes if you have like sparse Asian lashes that you just want to hold its curl and you just want your lashes to show up this is the mascara for you it holds my curl all day long it does not smudge it's super waterproof does not flake at all so this is my number one mascara this is the mascara I use next up we on have a daily the basis. May Island whitening capsule illuminating pearl cream and this cream just has the most fresh bursting scent to it I absolutely love the scent and it's like a peachy cream with little capsules in it so when you're massaging it into your face the capsules break and it just leaves this nice kind of I don't want to say like a super white cast but it just brightens up my skin and it evens out my skin tone as well so it's a great cream for when you're applying your makeup it has a nice base to it already and I just love using it Warn, I'm gonna give you guys a warning. When I first used this cream, I didn't really like it because it had like the sticky texture to it, but I, over time as I used it, I got used to it and the stickiness only lasts for like a few minutes and then your skin is nice and soft and brightened and white. So I absolutely love this cream and I would see myself using it again. I just like how it left my skin just nice and bright and even skin tone, like especially so when I, I have redness on my face. I love using these types of sunscreens where you just shake it up and it's kind of like that liquidy, watery 
texture. Um, I believe this is from the brand Kiss Me, but I, it doesn't say on here, but I'll look it up for you guys and I'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. But this is called Sun Killer Perfect Strong Moisture and it has SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So it's a really good strong moisturizer and all you do, there's a little marble in here. So every time you want to use it, you shake it up just to mix up the sunscreen and then you just pour it out like so and it's like this really runny watery texture and I put it on my face and I just feel super comfortable with it it's super lightweight because it's like the watery lightweight texture and it's not oily at all and I just really love using this because throughout the day it doesn't make my face feel oily or feel heavy because some sunscreens are so thick and heavy that I just don't want to wear it this just when feels I start like to feel skin like too. my skin that has like you know dead skin on it and I just need to peel off that dead skin and just refresh my skin and have a nice clean layer again I use the Naruko marjoram and lavender brightening peeling gel and this is like a Kind of like a yellowy clear gel that you just squeeze out and then I just massage it all over my dry face and then it's it has like you can instantly feel your dry skin sloughing off and once I wash my face and put on my cream and everything it just leaves my skin nice and smooth and radiant and this is just a really good um, peeling gel or exfoliant if you have sensitive skin as well because it doesn't have any harsh beads on it it's just basically just a gel and it just sloughs off all of your dead skin so I highly recommend this one um, if you are looking for a good nice On gentle to oral exfoliant. hygiene <laughs> I, you've seen this one so many times it's the Oral B Glide Pro Health Deep Clean Floss this is what it looks like inside there and it's just like a thin floss that has not too much wax in it I don't even know if this has wax or not but I don't believe so but it has like a cool mint uh, flavor as well and I just really like the floss that are thin so you can get in between your teeth very easily and clean it nicely especially if you have teeth that are really tight together that's hard to floss especially if you use like the round floss it gets stuck all the time this will not get stuck and it's a really good floss and then next up I actually finished two of these guys I actually bought this from Costco I believe it comes in a pack of four or five and I've just been loving this range it's the Crest 3D white Lux and it's in the glamorous white version on here it says removes up to 90% of surface stains in five days which I totally agree with because my teeth were really yellow before and after I used this it's not like super white it's just like a natural we have white so I really love this skin active clean plus purifying makeup remover and this is the charcoal version which is great for oily skin it has 35 wet oh sorry 35 wet towelettes in here and I really enjoyed using this especially because I have not super oily skin but I have combo skin so around my t-zone especially and after using this I noticed my skin was less oily around those areas and the wet the little towelettes in here was not like rough at all it was super soft and I just really enjoyed using it to remove so my makeup during the night time. this guy right here I'm kind of sad about it but it's the Olay Fresh Outlast Cooling White strawberry and mint body wash and as you guys can see from the name and the picture here it's just the most awesome combination because this body wash has the most sweetest like addicting smell and it's just so good although some of my other Olay body wash like the ribbon ones actually I feel like my skin is more moisturized than using this but this scent is just so good that I don't care about that I can just put on moisturizer afterwards but I would skip out on this during the winter months when my skin's extra dry. I would definitely seeing my, see myself using this during the summer where I don't really need that extra moisture in my body. But I really love this. If you guys are looking for a new body wash to try that the scent is just so addicting, definitely check this out because it's been one of my favorites and I just love it so much. I can just sit here and go like this. Next All up, day we long. have some <laughs> EOS hand cream. I forgot the names of these, but I believe this was either I think this was cucumber and this was strawberry. I'm not I'm not really sure. It doesn't really say anywhere. But these are their little hand creams, and they smell really good and they fit really nicely in my hand base because they're very thin and small and super cute with the pastel colors as well. Um, but I 
didn't really enjoy using them because although they are really cute to look at, um, the hand cream itself wasn't like it wasn't very impressive to me. It's just like a basic hand cream. It didn't like hydrate or nourish my skin, my hands very well. It's just like a very basic hand cream and I don't see myself purchasing these again. Um, but yeah, they have a really nice scent to them, but I just Last but not least, I would skip I have out on this them. adorable macaron lip balm and it's from the brand It's Skin, so it is a Korean brand and it's just a super cute packaging. All you do is open it up like that and it is pink in color and I believe this was the strawberry flavor and it just smells so good. It smells like candy, but um it's a very like kind of almost a very lightweight lip balm. It just keeps my Hi, lips baby. very... Yes, baby? Yeah, Karis is just Hi, sitting baby. over there, patiently waiting for mommy to finish filming her video. <laughs> Such a good girl she is. But um, it's a very lightweight lip balm and it just glides on really nicely. It has like that slick texture to it, kind of like almost like Vaseline, but not too thick. So if you guys like those type of lip balms, then definitely check this out. But you just, I just use my finger, I use this every single night, rub it all over my, my lips and it just keeps my lips nice and hydrated. It's not like the super moisturizing, hydrating lip balm I've ever tried, but it does the job really nicely and it's just super cute. I'm gonna definitely gonna keep this, clean it out and put like my earrings or necklace in it, whatever I want to keep a little bit extra safe in my jewelry armoire. So it's super cute as well. So that's pretty much it for my empties number nine video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you found some products in my empties videos that you're gonna try out yourself or you're gonna purchase for yourself. And again, I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out as well. And that's pretty much it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys, Mwah. love you, bye.